Hi, this is Andrew with Northern Whimsy Art Studio. This is the Raven Mosaic Kit, uh, video number one. And we're going to get started today. In your kit, you're going to have um, some small beads, a piece of turquoise, and a, a copper eye, a cup of black glass, and some glue with a popsicle stick. You're also going to have a sponge um, and a cup of grout. Um, and one more popsicle stick for your grouting portion. You're gonna need a pencil, uh, a pair of gloves, and a rag to use um, that are not provided in the kit. So to get started, uh, just keep in mind that the glass can be sharp and you can have glass shards on your table. Careful not to wipe your hand across the table. Um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and draw a raven wing on here. And so I'm just gonna start with just kind of a teardrop shape for his wing, just very basic on him. So that's really all we need the pencil for is that portion of the portion of the raven. So getting started, I'm going to use my glue. This is weld bond glue and I'm going to take some of it. I'm not going to put it on really thick. I'm going to keep it where the beads are going to set into it, but not be the glue will not stick up over the beads. So it's not going to take a lot. Smear this in here, and I'm just smearing in that space that I just filled in with my pencil. And really, what I'm going to do here is take out that piece of turquoise and that eye, and I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Not all of them, but put them on. And then I'm going to start turning them the direction that I want them. Careful not to get glue on your fingers. You're going to want a paper towel for this maybe to wipe your fingers off. But turning them the direction I want them, making sure that they're into the glue. And just kind of making a line around there. If you have a toothpick, you can use a toothpick. I'm just going to use my pencil to push them around a little bit. And I'm just lining them up around that wing. Trying to keep the glue off of the top, but if it does get a little bit of glue on the top, it's not a big deal. The glue is water soluble, so when you go to grout, you can get it, but try to get most of it off the best you can or keep it off the off the wing. So I'm just moving them around that wing into a line. Oh, that one's got a bunch on the top. I'm going to turn it back. Use my finger to pull it over. Okay, I'm just going to bump those over and even out that space there. Okay, so I've got that filled in. I'm just going to kind of push these guys down in there. I'm not going to worry about them being real straight. And just kind of gently touch them down. And then I'm going to put the rest of these guys in and fill in. Making sure they're all laying flat by the time I'm done. So I kind of poured them in there, but they're all going to lay lay flat. You could go through and lay each one going one direction. I don't have that kind of patience. I'm going to get these guys in here and I'm going to throw in a couple extra little gems you can add to your raven if you choose. space around them, around these beads, is going to be filled in with grout. Okay. 
Just fill them in those last few little spaces. Alright, looking pretty good. Okay. So I've got my wing filled in. So now what I'm going to do is put my eye on and I'm going to start up here on his face. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and fill in his beak and start with this portion of his head. So I'm going to place his eye, make sure that's the right way, right there. And then I'll start filling in with the black, but I do want to just with lines create a little separation. It's going to be the same color, but create a little separation from his beak to his mouth. So I'm going to make this line right here my separating. So that's where I'm starting. And I'm going to find one for the bottom also. This one might be too big, but let's try it. Just to create a visual line here, and I'll leave a little space there for that to be his beak. Okay. And then I'm going to find some real tiny pieces to go on the end of that beak there. So they're going to have to be a little bit thin. I want that one. And these are the areas that take a little more time to pick and choose what you're going to use for your glass pieces. I don't love that. Let's try another one here. This one, I wipe the glue off the side since I put it on there. Okay. It's got a little bit of glue on there, but I'll come back in and wipe that off in a few minutes. So I'm going to kind of keep my eye out for a really tiny pointy piece right there. So probably in the bottom of my cup here, I'll come up with, come up with something. So... I'm not going to worry too much. Oh, never mind, I found it. I think this is my piece for the bottom beak. A little more glue on there because I just see that it's kind of dry. There. Okay, so I got his beak done. So then I'm just going to start working my way around the rest of his body and head. This piece right here has a nice little curve, so I'm going to use that around the eye here. Let me shift the eye over just a tiny bit. And that'll be good around that eye. And then just finding pieces as I go that will fit into the different spaces, just like a little bit of a, just like a puzzle. for another piece that has that arch saving some of these little tiny pieces for his feet because we're going to have the, we're going to need those narrow pieces down there on the bottom okay I'm going to need more glue here So ravens like to find their little treasures, so I'm going to, before I grout, or after I'm done, or after I grout, I'm sorry, I'm going to save my whatever's left of my glue, and I'm going to glue this in here. So make sure you save your little cup of glue, because you'll need that to glue your raven's treasure in there. So hang on to that at the end of this. So let's see, I need a good curved piece to fit it there on the top. This one might do it. Work. I'm working my way around his 
wing. So I'm just trying to find pieces that will kind of make that line. So I'm picking a little bit longer ones to define his wing here, uh, but still saving some of my real narrow ones. Then picked out these guys that are real narrow for his toes because you're going to need those those tiny ones down here. So keep that in mind as you're working. Um, but I did pick out some of the fatter long ones to go around his wing there. And so I'm going to go ahead and circle his wing um, and do that portion before I move down around the rest of it. Actually, this piece is going to go wipe the glue off of that. It's going to go better over on this top. So I'm just going to set it there until I can use it over there. But I'm going to work this side first so that my glue doesn't dry ahead of me. you got to kind of work uh, not glue too far ahead of yourself. So I'm trying to find a little bit of a square piece to stick right in there. This one may work. Actually, this one's going to work really good on this side. A little straighter. This one will do it. There we go. This one is a good talon shape, so I'm just going to stick it right there because I know it's going to do well right there. triangle here find the perfect perfect little piece to go in there this might be too big but I'm gonna try it so I can scooch that guy up a little okay so I've got them all filled in here but the last little portion so I'll finish this last little feather wing up or the yeah the back back wing here and then um, he will be all finished for this portion so after this, you have to let him dry for um, four or five hours, but ideally the next day is great. So I, I say on the sheets, 12 hours is the, the optimum. You want your glue to be totally clear, but really the next day is the ideal. The process is gonna be just the same for that. So it will show you how to mix up your grout to apply your grout and um, finish your piece. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me um, all my contact information is on the sheet you get when you purchase your kit. And um, I really appreciate you purchasing kits from Northern Whimsy. If you have any suggestions or other ones that you'd like to see out, feel free to message me or post on Facebook. Um, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.